said some awful words And I know that we both got hurt But I wanna be with you I wanna be with you We can't let this slip away You know that I want you to stay Cause I wanna be with you I wanna be with you Don't run away We can't let this go to waste I don't want nobody else Don't let this go to waste Hey guys, this is Andre from Tectoids and in this video, I'm going to unbox and have an overlook of Model C+. Plus. On the front, we have model name and Moto and Lenovo branding. Various on the back, some specifications are mentioned such as huge 4000mAh battery, selfie flash, Android Nougat out of the box. Now the price quoted on the box is 699. Starting off with unboxing. We have the smartphone which should be there, charger, USB cable and an in-ear earphones. This time they are made up of good quality plastic. There is a mic and button too for calling purposes. A 2M charger is bundled and that is sort of okay. Apart from that we have some paperwork and a huge 4000 mAh battery. You can put two nano sims and a micro SD card at the same time. Good job Lenovo. Let's boot this thing and peel off the screen sticker. And by the time it boots, let me give you a physical overview. On the back, we have 8 megapixel rear shooter with f2.2 aperture, autofocus, single LED flash, motor branding and speaker vent. On the right, we have power button and volume rockers. Where is on the front, there is a 2 megapixel f2.8 aperture shooter flash, earpiece and on the bottom there are 3 non-backlit off-screen keys. There is a 5 inch HD panel on the front with 297 ppi which is not so sharp for some odd reasons and this comes without any protection. On the top there is a 3.5mm jack and USB power port for charging, OTG is not supported. On the bottom we have an indent to open the back cover and a primary microphone. Micro textured back makes the device feel sturdy and doesn't slip out of your hand. Let's skip the first setup. Now this device comes with Android 7.2 Nougat out of the box. So you can expect Android 8 update. Sometimes I felt that this phone becomes sluggish. And to solve that simply go to about phone and rapidly tap on build number. Access developer settings and change transitions to 0.5x. Talking about the camera, the front shooter is just average and don't expect much. It's just okay but uh, obviously you cannot expect at this price point. And the one at the rear flaunts in daylight but for indoors it's just average. We do get basic settings but obviously we do not get the pro mode and we cannot expect that considering the price point. Though you can only record in 720p at 30fps which really disappoints me. They should have given at least 1080p at 30fps. Come on Moto, it's 2017. YouTube video playback was amazing, though it can run a video max at 720p HD, due to lower pixel density, you can easily notice pixels when you gonna look carefully. For day to day usage, it will get your work done, but again the display isn't much sharp. So what do I think about this device is that apart from Xiaomi, till date this is the best smartphone under 7000 rupees. Again, I'm saying after 6 hours of usage, this was not a review. You can consider buying this link is in the description box below. So thanks guys, this is another from TechTrides. I hope that you like this video. In case you like this video, give a thumbs up. In case you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. This is another signing off and I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, peace.